guys, I'm Elizabeth Newsom and welcome to my booktube channel. Today I'll be showing you my vlog from the Christian Product Expo. So a few weeks ago, I went to something called the CPE International or the Christian Product Expo. Essentially there are exhibitors there who are basically selling things and who have the booths. There are authors who are selling books, and then there are retailers who are buying everything. And these exhibitors at this expo not only offer books, but they also offer things like jewelry and robes and little signs with Bible verses. Essentially lots of Christian things that you could buy at bookstores, hence why it's called a Christian product expo and not like a Christian book expo. With that said, there are a lot of authors and publishers who go to this expo and offer their books to retailers. I keep on saying, <laughs> I keep on wanting to say realtors, but it's retailers. Those are two different things. An expo is pretty different from a conference, and this was my first time going to the CPE. So with that, here's my vlog of this expo. So I'm finishing up packing for the expo. As you can see, I've got lots of toiletry stuff here. And then over here I have some of my stickers, a basket which I'll do for a giveaway, my giveaway stuff, my bookmarks, clothes. So honestly, I'm really nervous about the expo just because I've been to lots of writers conferences before but I've never really been to a trading expo before. But I'm also kind of excited so we'll just have to see how it goes. So I'm here at the airport. My flight isn't till until like 6.30. And as of right now, it's 4.51. The TSA line isn't even open. Honestly, this is just a really small airport. So TSA shouldn't take too terribly long. A lot of times when I'm going to big airports, I'll try and go about two hours early, but that shouldn't be an issue here. So overall, really excited for the expo, but kind of nervous. So from here, I fly to Dallas and then to Nashville, which is around where the Christian Product Expo will be. Good morning guys, so this is technically day two of the trip, but it's day one of the Christian Product Expo. So I have several things I need to do today. First of all, I need to go ahead and find out where my books were shipped to in the hotel where they received those because I have about 100 copies of books that were sent there. And then I need to steal one of them, steal because I bought them, and I need to use it for this giveaway gift basket that I'm making. I'll show you guys after I've assembled it. Right now I just have some of the pieces, but it's not finished yet. And so then I need to turn the gift basket in. And then I believe at 10.15 there's an author training with Suzanne Kuhn, who's my writing coach, and she's in charge of Brookstone, which is the company I'm working with, kind of this self-publishing agency that I outsource certain things to and certain promotions and distribution, and I use their imprint. So. I'm a little, um, not quite stressed, a little nervous and intimidated because this is just like so new and different from what I'm used to, which is writers conferences. But at the same time, I think it'll be really exciting and I have plenty of time to do all this stuff. It's about... 9.25 right now and 10 is when I need to turn the basket in and 10.15 is when that training is. So I'm not sure I'll get breakfast, but I don't typically eat breakfast. Although if I'm being honest, I would kind of like to have breakfast right now just because I'm a bit hungry and like a bit shaky, which you could probably tell with the camera. So it'd kind of be nice to have something to eat, but I might just forgo that and have a good lunch, you know. So now I'm off to go figure all that stuff out. So I'm currently in the CPE exhibitor setup area and I'm sitting front and I'm sitting in front of some stacks of my books. 
that I'll be signing later during the expo. And so a few cool things have happened today. First of all, I did manage to get breakfast. I didn't think I'd actually have time to, but I did. So that was nice. And then I was able to grab some books and I put in one for my giveaway basket like I showed you guys earlier. And then I snatched another one that I took to the Brookstone author training. And so we just kind of talked about different book signing etiquette and interacting with retailers and doing different media events. And I actually got to give away that copy to a retailer. There's actually this couple and they're opening this bookstore. It's a new Christian bookstore called Life Point in Orlando, Florida. So they said that they actually need some fiction books and they totally thought that there was a place for young adult fiction books in the Christian bookstore. So I gave them my card and I told them it was available on Anchor. And in addition, I also gave them that free copy of my book. And later on, I just happened to walk by them randomly and I saw them looking at it. So uh, hopefully that'll work out. It seems like they were genuinely interested and they actually talked about it like they were imminently going to order it because they said they had some gaps that they needed to fill. And they also said if I happened to be in the Orlando, Florida area to make sure to stop by their bookstore and they could arrange some sort of event or signing or get more books there. And then later I was talking to someone else, Daniel, who does different media interviews and he wanted to do an interview with me closer to my book's release date, so sometime in September, specifically about Christian publishing. So, so far I think that's been pretty cool. I'm happy <laughs> with the accomplishment so far. Uh, with that said, I hope I'll make a lot more connections and honestly thus far I've met a lot of other great authors and I've just enjoyed getting to network and talk with people and not only hear about the story that they're writing but their own story as in their lives as authors. So I'm just really enjoying making connections and kind of experiencing the expo. It is different from writers conferences because first of all any writers you meet here are not just aspiring authors but actually published authors looking to sell their books to retailers. Whereas at conferences you get a lot of people who are writers but they're not necessarily published yet. In addition, this also has a big emphasis on networking, whereas conferences tend to more have continuing sessions to educate writers about writing and publishing. This does have some of that but it's primarily like exhibitors set up and looking at stuff. But with that said, I mean, it's barely the first day of the conference, so I don't really have that much experience in all that's going on. But that's what's happening so far, and hopefully I'll get to meet more people. Hey guys, <laughs> so I'm just laying down for a bit. I'm not really tired. Apparently there's a lot more downtime at expos than there is at conferences, because at conferences it's like back-to-back -back classes and activities. And right now, like, exhibitors are just setting up, and there is a personality party, and I thought about signing up for it, but then I was like, eh, nah, I'm not gonna sign up for it. Well, actually, um, I talked to the person I'm working with, Suzanne Kuhn, and she said that the Brookstone finding by itself would just be fine, and it would probably be better uh, for me than going to the personality party. So, I'm just doing the signing, but that's Tuesday morning, so... Right now I have nothing until like 5.30. It's like 3.50, 3.50, or yeah, like 3.52. So 3.52, dinner's at 5.30, um, nothing until then. So I'm, I could do several things. I could just like read. I've already been walking around with the exhibitors and just socializing and talking to people. Not necessarily to buy my books, but just kind of for the sake of talking to people, because talking to people is fun. I think I might do a Walmart trip to Walmart Neighborhood Market, so I might get an Uber and go there, because because I need to get some stuff, because I forgot some really vital items I needed, and it's my fault for forgetting them, because I should have typed up a packing list, and I was in a hurry, so I didn't. First of all, I need to change my shoes. See, my feet. I took my shoes off. Before I had these really cute little booty things on, like um, these things, and they're very cute for like the first five hours after that. They're still cute, they just don't feel good. So, looks like I'll do a Walmart trip and then go get dinner. All right, so I'm at Walmart. I'm gonna get some vitamins and some toiletries. 
and I don't know, maybe some shampoo, guess we'll see. Kids today, I'm telling you, I'd like, okay, we didn't even have seatbelts in my car because that was for rich people, you know what I'm saying? And my mother told me that we didn't have car seats for the babies. Does anyone, is this true? Does anyone have a baby that didn't have a car seat? So I said to my mother, where did you put the baby? She said, in the back window of the station wagon, of course. <laughs> Which explains so much about my childhood. Let's it. But our latest movie, it's like about this small, it's a small town and there's a bed and breakfast and it's failing, it's gonna close. And uh, <laughs> Candace Cameron has to come back from New York to save it. I can't tell you. She runs into her ex-boyfriend, uh, he's a lumberjack, his name's Joey Lawrence, and um, I can't tell you the end, I can't tell you the end, but she's a princess. But um, it's totally edgy. It's totally, there's a snowstorm. But anyway, um, Good morning guys, so I just came back from breakfast. Most of it was closed, but I managed to snag a bagel and an apple. And this morning I decided I did not want to sit by myself, because yesterday I sat by myself and I hate sitting by myself when I'm eating, and I know that there are people I could be sitting with. So today I challenged myself to find someone who was wearing one of these name tags and also goes to the CPE and to ask to sit with them, even if they were in a group. And I found, so I was looking at the people who were the least intimidating and I found these two older ladies and I asked to sit by them and they're like oh please we insist and they were really sweet so I sat by them and I learned that one of them Tamara is an RN and then her sister MJ or Mary Jane is a radio host so we were talking about it and she said that they're getting this radio station set up that's by women for women and Christian women will be the ones doing the recordings and being featured, but the content that's created won't necessarily be specifically Christian. And I told her about how my book is about love as a choice instead of a feeling, and how a lot of people tend to mistake infatuation for love. And she was really, really interested, and she asked if she could interview me maybe sometime in January when the radio show opened. She said the radio would be hosting blurbs of different books, just like two minute blurbs, but then they'd also have guests on it, so she wanted me to have an opportunity to do both. And then we were talking, and I told her I was in Tyler, Texas, and she was really surprised because Shelly, the person who's getting all of this put together for this radio show, is also based in Tyler. So she messaged Shelly and said that we should meet up sometime. So it's really cool to see these opportunities come together, and I think it'll be fun to look back through all these different video vlogs of my different conferences and expos and to be able to connect the dots looking back like oh yeah I got this opportunity from this connection when I met them at this event so it was really cool to be able to meet with her and connect with her even though she's a radio host she's not one of the people presenting media opportunities and interviews here she decided it would just be networking so that was really cool because I was thinking about just going to the hallway where I knew media interviews were being conducted and seeing if anyone would like to interview me. So instead I got a media opportunity that I couldn't have gotten like that just from talking to people. And it was really sweet of her to give me the opportunity and I'm looking forward to connecting back with her later. Anyway, it's about 10.30 right now. Uh, the next thing is lunch. Right now there's really just exhibitor set up, so I think I'll go downstairs and check in the media interview area to see if there are any potential interviews that I could be a part of. Every single week to God in prayer. And my parents made sure to teach me and my brother to pray and bring every need to God especially the things that they could not provide for us. And mom used to put me to her right and my brother to her left every single night before we went to bed. And she used to say, that's how you pray. And you can talk to God like he's your best friend, just like you're talking to mommy, and tell him about everything that's coming going into your mind. Are you cool? We are too, it's delicious love, okay?
Hey guys, so I'm all packed up. I just finished my book signing, which was at 9 a.m. Right now it's approaching lunchtime, and I still have a few more books, a few more books that I'd like to give away. I've been walking around and kind of giving them out to retailers and signing them, and some of them have expressed an interest in ordering more for their stores, so we'll just have to see how that goes. Uh, but at lunch, all the retailers go to lunch kind of in the same area, so I've had multiple people recommend that I should just go around and ask the retailers like, hey, have you seen my book? And then have an opportunity to share my story with them. And a lot of people are really interested by the book and how the theme is about love being a choice instead of the feeling. And I'm almost surprised that the theme is such a big selling point, but at the same time it makes sense. And it's something I really enjoy talking about. <laughs> are you filming me vlogging? <laughs> Uh, that was Sherry, she's one of my roommates. Anyway, we'll just have to see how that goes, but it's almost the end of the day and then I'll be headed back to the airport. I'm at the Nashville International Airport and just went through TSA. Earlier today, I was talking to a bunch of retailers, just going around, giving out books, signing them, and I definitely got at least two people that actually signed up to try and ship some of my books to their bookstore, so that's pretty great. We'll see if it's enough to actually pay off the cost of the conference. But overall, it, I mean, it was just really cool to be here, to make connections, to set up interviews, talk with retailers and other authors, of course. It'll kind of be nice to go home and go back to college and get back into the swing of things. And I had a few books left that I hadn't given away, so I had to ship them back to myself. And I had about 30 of those, and thankfully they were shipping at the hotel, but I was freaking out because I, I was planning to leave about 45 minutes earlier for the airport than I did. Thankfully, not only is the flight delayed, but also I scheduled way more time than I needed to, so everything worked out just fine. I had a great Uber ride with someone named Jamie, and she sounded really... This is paging Dallas passengers, Hamilton and Blanchard. I need you to board immediately. This door is shutting in 30 seconds. Sounds like someone better hurry to their gate. Anyway, the Uber driver was super encouraging. and We just talked about that and what she was doing. She writes songs and that's why she lives in Nashville. So overall, really fun trip. And then my boyfriend's picking me up tonight from the airport in Tyler. So it'll be really great to see him. Uh, we've been texting back and forth and he's just, I mean, he's just really supportive and encouraging. I like talking to him. <laughs> Which is a good thing since we're dating. So now it's back home to Tyler, Texas for school. I just got back to my dorm and my boyfriend dropped me off, but that's pretty much the CPE overall. I at least definitely got two retailers to sign the paperwork for the books. I also just heard that I have 155 pre-orders, so that's super exciting. Um, and then I have a few interviews that it looks like might be scheduled in the future. I don't really know. I guess we'll see how those turn out. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It's pretty different from writing conferences and that, of course, everyone there is published. And then writers have more free time because it's a lot of it's about the exhibitors and just going around and buying and selling things. But overall, I really enjoyed the CPE and I think I might go next year. I guess we'll see. Well, there you guys have my vlog of the Christian Product Expo. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe because I post one bookish video a week, typically Saturday evenings. That's my goal. We'll see. Again, college has started, and if I thought I was busy before, now I'm going to be more busy. So we'll just have to see how that works out. And you can see I'm back at college because I'm back in my dorm, so I'll be filming videos here again instead of my home in New Mexico. And I know I say it every video, but I love to hear from you guys, love going through your comments. And I see every single one pop up on notifications, even if I don't get the opportunity to respond right then. I will respond eventually. But I'd like to hear your thoughts on the expo and compare it to some of the previous vlogs I've done, say, on writing conferences. And if you have any experience with expos or writing conferences, I'd love to hear about your experience with that in the comments as well. With that said, let me know down below and I'll see you next time.